Hi everybody, in this tutorial we are going to build a many host service using Boeing, uh, using APIs. So the first thing that we need to check is that we can build uh, an API in Boeing. To do that we go to manage atom management and we see that we have an uh, environment in this tab. So that means that we can uh, handle the environment so we can build uh, an API. Um, for work with APIs, it's better create an atom in a local machine. So we are going to create an atom. In my case, it's Windows 64. Then the download the start. We need to run this like administrator. Here we need to introduce the credential for Boomi. And we are going to call this atom Twilio service. No, sorry, the credentials. Next screen, we have to select the user. And then we are going to set everything like default. Everything like default. Okay, now it's installed in my machine. Ready. Go to our atom management. We can see the new service here. We are going to start in a new folder. It's an easy way to organize our stuff. Okay. We are going to. Mm, create the same Twilio service that is in uh, in Java we are going to build it in a uh, booming so the f the f what we want to create is um, web service Twilio service API this is our new service and you can see that we don't have any resource we are going to add a new process to link to a new resource create a new process okay process name we are calling metadata and now we have to introduce in the input type the profile the input that we are going to receive in metadata. This is going to be a post. So the input is going to be single JSON object. And the profile, we are going to create a new profile. The profile is going to be called request metadata JSON profile. And uh, Boomi allowed to imp uh, import a JSON file and create a new profile about this uh, JSON file. So, forget this JSON file, we are going to get it from uh, the Java service Twilio. Here we have that uh, file that we need. If you go to test, resource, describe. Here we have the request that we use for the functional test. This is the file. Uh, Boomi grab this file from um, the local machine so I need to get it from my local machine I already downloaded that file so here it is request it is, this is the all the structure of that file save and close so we have the input now we have to do the same with the with the output response metadata json profile and in this case we are going to select metadata response this is the file of the response okay we need to 
offset the offset that is going to be metadata. Everything okay, we save. Okay, we are going to, s to set this in the folder. When we copy some of the elements to a folder, uh, Boomi automatically organizes it by uh, the Boomi standard, that is web service. All the web service is going to be under this folder. Metadata is going to be all here. very easy to organize the stuff. There it is. So let's take a look to the process. This is the process that I have created for me. Uh, in the configuration they mm, recommend to activate the listener so we are going to make this change. And here in the operation, we are going to do a small change that I did detect before that is uh, generating the request, but here is not the request. Here, what we want is the response. In the response profile, we select response. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, so we have the input, we know what is going to be the output, that we are going to pass the output this shape okay so now we are going to hard code what is going to be the output because in this specific uh, service we don't care which is the input we always return the same so we are going to hard code that with a message uh, the message had to be like this here we have to introduce the JSON objects um, for the profile response. So I already copied the response from Java uh, project. So we paste here the response. Okay. And we need to connect everything. That's all. That should be all. Now we are going to deploy and make some uh, checks. Uh, this is all the project metadata. Attachment. Okay, we need to attach metadata. We are going to attach it and we are going to deploy. This is the process. We need to deploy the process on the web service. Okay, we are going to deploy this. Touch. We are going to attach it to development. And then we are going to save and deploy. We need to make some uh, check-ins in the, in the service configuration. So we are going to Atom Management, Share with Service, Web Server Settings. So the Web Service type sh should be Advanced and the Authentication None is right. Okay, and now we are going to attach this, this Atom to the development environment. Now we have to check this with a uh, Postman. Okay, let's test Postman. This is a response. So everything is okay. You can see that it's JSON. So we finish here the first part of the tutorial.